info spot 411 YouTube channel making money on YouTube I am now going to uh, give everybody here watching this video some good information on how to make money with your YouTube channel this is a section from a YouTube class I did last winter and I'm gonna now share it with you okay part three of my YouTube class this is making money with YouTube okay first up growing your YouTube channel all right uh, you want good interesting informative or hilarious uh, entertainment you know content on your channel um, I hear so many times people say oh one of the keys is you got to have good content got to have good content well what exactly is good content and be specific what is good content when we come to being specific and I pretty much just look at it this way all right Good content is interesting content to others. So whether you got a uh, cooking channel or you do a, uh, a vlog channel just doing lives and talking to people, if you're getting subscribers and you're getting lots of views and you're growing your channel with, with whatever your niche is, then that's good. Now let's say you have a channel and it's about... Um, repairing automobiles and your channel is not doing well and you've bought, run it a while then it may not be a good YouTube channel for you okay so keep that in mind what's good content what's a good channel is what is interesting and other people find interesting and it's gonna be a slow start at first you know and it's not to say that I have the best content or my niche here at InfoSpot411 is the greatest you know not all of my videos are really well received some are but something to keep in mind. Okay, uh, second one here I have. Uh, comment and subscribe to uh, other YouTube channels, especially small channels, all right? You want to build the number of your subscribers for your channel when you're a small YouTuber. And I consider a small YouTuber is somebody who's 2,000 or less subscribers, all right? Um, why I emphasize small YouTubers instead of the uh, big YouTube channels, all right? A big YouTube channel, let's take, for ex example, I watch once in a while, Jack Vale. And he has a very funny YouTube channel, uh, does a lot of pranks, all right? That guy's in the millions. So, me putting a comment on his channel and interacting with Jack Vale, it, it's very slim to none. And Jack Vale subscribing to my channel off one of my comments, that's slim to none. Now, if I'm commenting on a small YouTube channel and networking and interacting, I'm more than likely going to have a, a subscriber to my channel. And that small YouTube channel who subscribed to me is going to probably watch some of my content. I don't see someone, and I'm just using this example, nothing against Jack Vale being a big YouTube channel, but I don't see Jack Vale watching my videos or going on my channel. You know, it's very, very slim. So that's why I emphasize, especially when you start growing, go towards the small YouTube channels when it comes to networking. Now, one quick note I will say, when it comes to big YouTube channels, and some you may like, uh, let's say, for example, on Jack Vale does a funny prank video, okay? I'll go in that comment section, and I'll look for an, some other YouTubers that might uh, leave some comments I agree with, all right? And I'll comment on their comment, and then I'll check out their channel and watch a couple videos and drop likes. That's a way of networking with the bigger channels, but I don't want to go too far into this. But when you first start on YouTube and you're a small YouTuber, connect with other small YouTubers, okay? Um... Uh, and respond to comments on your videos. I see so many people don't even bother to even give a thumbs up when someone takes the time to watch the video and drop a like. That should be a given. Uh, keep most of your videos on your channel about your niche and your topic. All right. Uh, for example, let's say I got a uh, cooking channel, home recipes and cooking. And all of a sudden I throw out a video on how to change out an air filter on a Ford F-150 pickup truck. Yeah, I'll have some people that'll hit that video and, and want that information, but, you know, the 
the vast base of my subscribers who were into my home recipes and my cooking channel, let's say, and be like, what in the world is this? A video on how to change an air filter out in a Ford F-150. So, just something to keep in mind. Okay, uh, here's a few other tips here in growing your channel. And we're going to get into making the money shortly here. Uh, post your videos on a Facebook page. You know, share social media. Uh, the, the, the Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, or any of that social media. That's good, man. You want that exposure. Um, next up, select a good thumbnail. A lot of times, you know, uh, people just use a, a picture from their video. And sometimes it's good. A lot of times it's not. So put a little bit of thought in your thumbnail, whether it's it's it it's you holding the the item up, whatever your your videos on. Let's say I'm doing a video on um, homemade spaghetti. Shout out to Queen L Eats, by the way, <laughs> uh, who did this type of video. You can have that picture of you holding that that bowl of homemade spaghetti, or you take a picture of the pot and use that as your thumbnail. But yeah, put put a little bit of effort into your thumbnails, and uh, that's an important part of people watching your video. All right, a lot of people, uh, you guys, cre YouTube creators, uh, use the bumpers. Uh, you know, that's fine, and it's great. It's a cool thing to have. I use a, a movie theater bumper on my channel on a, a quite a few of my videos, or you know, some of my videos. At any rate, you don't want them too long. All right, because you are going to lose that viewer's interest if you make your bumper too long. I recommend 30 seconds or less, maybe 20 seconds or less. You know, have a nice flashy bumper that shows your channel, help subscribe to me, and, you know, a little razzle-dazzle, but don't keep it too long. Because let's say your video, again, let's say, for example, we're doing homemade spaghetti done right, done easy, okay, is the video. And I got a 45 second bumper. Well, I might have, you know, 50 people that happen to click on my video and there's a whole slew of homemade spaghetti videos on YouTube. And I could turn away a lot of these viewers from watching my video after they get 25 seconds of my bumper. Like, man, this stinking bumper never ends. Go click it off and go click on another channel. So my recommendation is, yeah, go ahead, use a video bumper, video intro, uh, but try to keep it 30 seconds or less. All right, last up, your YouTube analytics. That gives you a lot of information. Uh, how many people have watched your video? How long they've watched your video? What's what's doing well on your YouTube channel? Without going too far in the analytics, just go in your YouTube studio and you can check on the uh, analytics from your YouTube studio and your channel. Okay, here we are, making money on YouTube. Now, that first part I just went over is important because... Getting your channel successful is, is a big key in making money on YouTube. All right, these are three big ways of making money on your YouTube channel. All right, first we'll get into monetization. All right, the first step in monetizing your YouTube account is joining the YouTube Partner Program. The YouTube Partner Program is a monetization program that helps creators make money when people view their videos through advertisements. That's those ads that pop on before the video. Sometimes you can post in the middle of your video at the end of your video. Make money. And now keep this in mind. Since Google owns YouTube, the program uses Google AdSense to display the ads of your choosing. You want to try to keep your ads within the topic of your channel, you know. Uh, you don't want to have, a like again, a channel on uh, cooking and recipes and your YouTube ads are on uh, auto parts. I'm not going to go too far into that. With the YouTube Partner Program, you're given the freedom to choose what kind of ads and videos you want and don't want to monetize your content. Okay, here we are. When a viewer watches or clicks on a commercial or an ad, you receive a small commission. It could be a few cents to a couple of dollars a viewer click. The amount of money you receive depends on several factors, including advertisers bid the type of content being shown and the length of your video the YouTube partner program requires you apply to monetize your YouTube channel but once you are accepted you will be able to start making cashola 
okay now here's the the key here with the requirements to get your youtube channel monetized and some of you uh might already know this uh four thousand watch hours in the past 12 months all right and at least a thousand subscribers once you meet these requirements you can begin the application process which involves you agreeing to the terms and conditions and signing up for google adsense all right you have to sign up for the google adsense to get monetized and get your checks and setting your monetization preferences uh why these requirements it's youtube is set this to avoid the spammers and impersonators and other bad uh intentions from uh youtube channels there and the content years back i think it was around 2012 11 2013 before they made this big change you could have 125 subscribers to start monetizing your videos you wouldn't make much money because 125 subscribers i mean come on you're not going to have too many views on your videos but uh i'm going to say this as an example here i don't have written in here there used to be a lot of people on YouTube, and they would take a movie or a TV show, all right, and they would screen record it, and they would shorten the picture about half the size of the screen, and then they'd have effects around it, so the YouTube uh, computer would not pick it up. YouTube would not pick it up and say, hey, this is a copyright infringement. You can't monetize this, all right? You didn't have permission from Sony Pictures, let's say. And they would monetize it and make all kinds of cash. Well, that's one example of uh, what people were doing before they put the uh, rule in place where you have to have a thousand subscribers and then you also have to have so many watch hours. So there's a lot of reasons why YouTube went ahead and did this. And here's the thing, support Google, YouTube, you can write that down for more information on it. Hi, my name is Stefan, and I'm a monetization strategist here at YouTube. The question I often hear from creators is, when can I start making money on YouTube? So I'm gonna explain the basics of what you need to know to start earning money with your YouTube channel. Before you can earn money on your channel, you need an audience. Now, to build an audience, you need to make consistent videos that viewers really like watching. And like anything on YouTube, it's important that your videos follow YouTube's community guidelines. After that's all working for you, you can apply to join the YouTube Partner Program, or YPP, which lets creators monetize their videos on YouTube. To qualify for YPP, you need to be in good standing with YouTube and have 4,000 valid public watch hours in the previous 12 months and at least 1,000 subscribers. Now, we've set these thresholds because we want creators to be good citizens on the platform, and these requirements ensure our teams have enough information to really review your channel. Note that you can only apply to YPP after you cross the watch hour and subscriber thresholds. We'll keep you updated on your progress towards hitting these thresholds in the monetization tab in YouTube Studio. You can also choose to be notified with an email once you're eligible to apply. Once your channel does hit these thresholds, you'll need to sign the partner program terms and sign up for a Google AdSense account. After all of these steps are completed, then your channel will be reviewed against our policies. And if everything looks good, you can start earning money from ads and from YouTube Premium subscribers watching your content. Also, once you're approved for the YouTube Partner Program, there are other revenue streams besides ads that you can tap into. Things like channel memberships or Super Chat, as long as you meet their criteria and they're available in your country. So that's the program in a nutshell. Now I'm gonna walk you through some of the most common questions we get. The first is around channel reviews. Say you think your channel qualifies for YPP, but it hasn't been reviewed yet. Well, we usually get back to you in about a month once you hit the review thresholds, but you can find more about your status on the monetization page in YouTube Studio. Until then, keep making great content and focusing on building your audience. Another question that comes up, what if your channel isn't approved? If you're not approved for YPP, it's likely because your channel doesn't meet the YouTube Partner Program policies and community guidelines in which case you can reapply again in 30 days as long as you still meet the watch hour and subscriber thresholds. Before you reapply, we suggest you read through these policies. There's some links in the video description and go to the monetization page in your account and review your videos with our YouTube partner program policies and community guidelines in mind. 
The next step is to edit or delete any videos that violate these policies. Once you're successfully in the program, creators often ask, do I have to meet this threshold every year? The short answer is no. However, you do need to stay active with uploads and community posts. If you're inactive on your channel for six months and fall below the threshold, we may remove your channel from the partner program. Stay tuned to this channel and the Creator Academy for more insights, including how to get the most out of ads and Promote on YouTube, okay. Uh, you can promote a number of things on your YouTube channel. There are no requirements uh, <clears throat> on the number of subscribers and uh, video views to promote your stuff here on YouTube, all right? Here's some examples of things you can promote on your YouTube channel and your videos to make money, as we in your YouTube Live. If you got an eBay store, do, do a video. Let's say I got an eBay store uh, where I, is sports cards, all right? I can do some videos on sports cards and say, hey, help support my channel if you're interested in uh, some of these cards. Right below my video, click on the link to my eBay store. Check it out. Uh, if you have a website where you sell stuff, let's say, for example, uh, ebooks. Okay, let's say you have a, a website where you uh, have some ebooks on there. You know, you do a video about the ebook, say, hey, Go to my website, links right below my video, click it on. That's another way of making money. Uh, even GoFundMe page. Uh, you can have that there. Okay, I'm going to explain this to you. The Cafe Press Store, all right? This is pretty much the same thing as the YouTube merchandise, all right? The only difference is you're not going to have a big banner underneath your video like the official YouTube merchandise. What Cafe Press is, it's a third-party website, all right? You set up an account with Cafe Press, and you can have uh, T-shirts, hats, coffee mugs, mouse pads made with your YouTube channel logo or whatever, your, uh, whatever you want to do. Let's say you have a certain logo or saying in your YouTube videos, like, you know, that's great. And you got your picture on there, and you could put it in a mouse pad, whatever, all that merchandise. When you do your video, all right, or your live, say, hey, help support my YouTube channel. Uh, buy you buy some merchandise. Go to my Cafe Press store. The link is right below my video. And what it is is Cafe Press makes the product for who's ever buying it. So it's nothing that you have to have. You get a commission off it. So, for example, I don't know the exact number right offhand, but let's say you sell a mouse pad and the mouse pad sells for $15 on Cafe Press, all right? Uh, let's say you get 20% uh, of that $15, and you had to do nothing other than you, you got somebody to buy that mouse pad from your Cafe Press store. Cafe Press will make that mouse pad with that logo on it or whatever you have on there. And the customer buys it, they deal with Cafe Press, and then you get 20% of that sale. But a key thing with this is you want to have a lot of subscribers. You can do it, let's say, if you only have 205 su subscribers on your channel. But if you're only getting, let's say, 45 views on your video in one week, uh, don't have high expectations of people going to your Cafe Press store and buying all kinds of merchandise. This works well when you have a big subscriber base. Now, YouTube does and offers their own merchandise store, and I'll get in that in a minute. However, you have to have at least 10,000 subscribers and so many watch hours. But when you get to 10,000 subscribers, you'll be eligible for the YouTube merchandise store, and it works similar to Cafe Press. Uh, Teespring is one of them. They give you a whole number of ones you can pick from. I hope I'm not going too fast here for you any rate, let's say you have 6,500 subscribers, then, you know, once you get over that 2,000 subscribers, you might want to look into doing a cafe press store. doesn't cost you anything. Okay, set that up, sell some merch, uh, put a little creativity into it uh, as far as your merchandise. So I'll get into it here a little more, but that's just another uh, way of making money on your YouTube channel and your videos and your YouTube lives. Uh, doing a cafe press store. And as well, lastly, I got charity. Hey, uh, like I, I'm a big supporter of the DAV, Disabled American Veterans. I had a video, one of my earlier videos on my channel, I mentioned it, put a link below. You can do that. Okay. 
Uh, here we are, YouTube channel merchandise, all right? This is a little different than the Cafe Press. I want to go over this here with you. All right, the requirement is 10,000 subscribers, and you have to be, be approved uh, for a merchandise site. And then here's the, you can write this down, and this is a link uh, on more information on it. But basically, if you've uh, seen some of the bigger YouTube channels, okay, and I'll, I'm going to show you a video demonstrating it. And they have a big banner underneath their video and their t-shirts. And it has their channel logo. And uh, for, uh, Teespring is one of the companies. And somebody clicks on that t-shirt and buys it. Same as Cafe Press, you get, you get money off it. But this is directly through YouTube. So you're going to get a percentage of sale. But the advantage with this versus doing your own Cafe Press is when you have 10,000 subscribers and you do a merchandise setup through YouTube... Uh, they're going to put that merchandise right underneath the video for everybody to see. So, you know, that that's a nice thing. At any rate, I got a video going over this, so let's get into it on the merchandise. Things you can promote on YouTube and sponsorship is what I'm going to talk about here. All right, I am going to show you uh, one of my videos here as an example of uh, the correct way to handle a traffic stop. Now, at the end of the video, um, the, I'm promoting a charity, the DAV, Disabled American Veterans, and I briefly mention it, and uh, I let all the uh, viewers know they're going to view my video if they would care to make a donation just click the link down below and all they, and then all the people have to do watching the video is come down to my description box here's the information on the DAV and they would just click the link I posted right here to donate and presto it takes them right over to the DAV website and they can click donate now. Now this is just one example I'm showing you. You can put your uh, website in the description box and mention it in your video, your eBay store, uh, your GoFundMe page, whatever you're promoting, your Cafe Press uh, store. Um, any rate, it's that simple. You know, during your video, mention what you're promoting and then let the listeners know. Just go down below my video in the description box and they'll have the link and information right there. The Tamar Bowling YouTube channel. And he has, right here in the start of his video, Pure at Bowling. Uh, website and he's got a special code Tamar similar to affiliated marketing however this is a direct sponsorship he has so anyone going to the Pure Bowling uh, website makes a purchase and uses that coupon code Tamar uh, he's getting a percentage of that sale it's a direct promotion he has and also I want to show you this as I mentioned under item promotions is YouTube merchandise feature. Now you have to have over 10,000 subscribers for YouTube merchandise. So he has his here, Tamar Bowling t-shirts and items. Anyone that is uh, makes a purchase of this Tamar Bowling t-shirt, let's say I do, Teespring, Cafe Press, there's a few others. Anyway, he gets a percentage of the sale. And the good news is he doesn't have to buy any inventory, doesn't have to stock any inventory. Teespring does everything. And he just gets a percentage when he drives the customers over to Teespring to his shop and store that are specifically buying Tamar Boeing uh, products. So this is something to look into when you build up your channel here to 10,000 subscribers and more is the YouTube merchandise feature. And I'll show you this here. This on the YouTube Creators YouTube channel. You can say that five times in a row. At any rate, go to the YouTube Creators YouTube channel and check out merchandise, making money beyond ads. Uh, 
video right here. It gives you information on YouTube uh, merchandise and something to look into. Lastly, i like to take you over to the Cafe Press website. Now there's some other good ones, Teespring and whatnot. Anyway, here's the main page, the Cafe Press. All you have to do is scroll all the way down and click on Start Selling. And once you do that, it'll take over this page on the upper right hand corner where my mouse is here now. Sign in and join. You click on that and you can uh, start your own Cafe Press uh, store. Just like Teespring uh, t shirts, mouse pads, all kinds of goodies and junk. And you could put this in your item description box once you set up your Cafe Press store, just like here with my DAV and anyone who buys a product out of there you get a percentage of the sale and it's no inventory that you have to be bothered with in, in investing money in or stuff you have to stock uh, and ship out cafe press takes care of all of it you just get a percentage of each sale so that's something you might want to look into too as far as when it comes to promoting stuff on your youtube uh, channel and making money uh, it, there's a number of things. You got your own eBay store? Put that in there as well. Any rate, uh, this is some information on uh, promotion for your YouTube channel and uh, sponsorship. Alrighty. Next up, affiliate marketing. Uh, affiliate marketing is a business strategy where you promote another company's product or services with an affiliate link or code that you've been assigned from the company. Uh, each sale made from your link or code, uh, you'll be receiving a commission. This is just the source I had, selfie.com. Any rate, uh, one of the most popular ones and best ones to work with is Amazon. And uh, their affiliate commissions vary from five to 10%. Okay. Another one is uh, eBay Affiliate, the eBay Partner Network. Commission is 1% to 6% of the item price. Uh, now, this is slightly different than what I talked about earlier. If you have an eBay store and you put it in your item description box, we're talking about eBay uh, Affiliate Program, and I'm going to go into this in detail. And Just like Amazon, you can pick out a specific item or someone else's eBay store, promote it, make money off it for driving the sale to it. That's the eBay affiliate uh, program. A lot of companies have affiliate marketing programs. Um, I know uh, there's going to be a lot of people watching this that wonder about Walmart. Now, the problem with Walmart uh, getting uh, into their affiliate program, uh, I believe they're not allowed, you're not allowed to use it on YouTube. Only a website with Walmart. But, um, like, for example, I have Bitdefender Antivirus a software program on my computer. Bitdefender has a affiliate program. So I could do a video on my YouTube channel and it's, it's rave about how great Bitdefender is. Go to this website, download it. It's better than Norton McAfee, blah, blah, blah. And guess what? Every time someone clicks that link, I'm making a profit, a sale off of it. But I do want to say, too, again, I'm going to emphasize, make sure you have a good subscriber base. If you don't have a lot of subscribers, don't try to have big expectations into affiliate marketing. But there is good money to be made in affiliate marketing when you build up your subscribers and you get a lot of views on your channel and your videos and your lives. Okay, uh, a little more on Amazon affiliate marketing. All right, once you sign up with the program, <clears throat> keep this in mind. You need to sell at least one product within 90 days uh, or else you're going to be canceled from the Amazon affiliate marketing program. Uh, you can reapply for it, I believe it's after 30 days if you've been terminated for not selling anything. So again, make sure your YouTube channel, it's got a lot of subscribers and you're getting views and hits where someone's going to buy something off that. All right, I'm going to go over a few things in here with you because I know you probably got your, ju your juices flowing and you're really curious about this Amazon affiliate and marketing. There's just some policies and mistakes you need to avoid if you do get involved with the Amazon affiliate marketing. All right. 
Okay. Um, you cannot take your Amazon affiliate links and send them through the email and solicit that way. Nope. But we're talking YouTube here and using an Amazon affiliate link with your YouTube channel, your lives, your videos. All right. Um, you cannot uh, shorten the link and cloak it. That's I'm getting a little technical here. But when you're given a certain Amazon link, that's the link you got to use below your video. So if you're in the Amazon affiliated marketing link and it's to Amazon, that's the link you use, okay? Um, all right. You cannot put the Amazon affiliate marketing links in ebooks or PDF documents. That's a no no. Um, what's some other ones here? You. Uh, okay, you here. I had to think for a second. Okay, bear with me. Um, you cannot purchase something through your Amazon affiliate link yourself to say, "Hey, I want to get my one sale." Okay, you can't do that. That's against the rules and policies. And you cannot uh, operate more than one account. But keep in mind, as I always say, don't listen to everything people tell you. Discover everything people are doing. <laughs> You can always, and it's nothing against the rules, you can call up a family member or a friend. Say, hey, I got uh, 14 days left and I have to sell something on my Amazon affiliate marketing link. And your friend or a family member can buy something from your Amazon affiliate link and you just got that one sale to keep the Amazon affiliate link going while you're building up your YouTube channel. So that's something you can do. Not against the rules and policies. All right. Um, uh, let me see here. Okay, yeah, you cannot use Amazon affiliate marketing through sexually explicit or uh, violent websites. You know, um, I'm not going to go too much detail. That's pretty much common sense. I'll leave it at that. Um, you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, use uh, a, a set price or say, oh, you're going to get an item cheaper through my Amazon affiliate link versus going to the regular Amazon site. It's it's dishonest and that's against the policy. You get caught, you'll be terminated from the affiliate marketing link, okay? All right. Um, you cannot alter the Amazon trademark. All right, you can't alter that. Um, oh, as I was just saying, uh, offering rebates. Um, you can't post something in your video and say, hey, click on my Amazon link below my video for an amazing discount or a special Amazon price if you go through my link and you don't, and you don't go through the Amazon. You can't do that. You can't uh, misrepresent and offer rebates and so forth uh, with the Amazon affiliate marketing links on your YouTube videos. Uh, again, uh, no sales in the first 90 days of sign up. You'll be terminated and you got to reapply. Okay, I'm going to show you a video here real quick to use as an example. There's a number of them on Amazon affiliate marketing. This guy uh, keeps it very simple and breaks it down. So this will give you a little better grasp of the Amazon affiliate marketing and using it with YouTube. learning how to do affiliate marketing with Amazon's affiliate program. I'm going to show you for beginners how you can market Amazon as an affiliate in 2020 and I'm going to lead you step by step right here on my computer how to do this. Now, I've made millions of dollars from affiliate marketing. I make about a million dollars a month and Amazon has one of the best affiliate programs around. I'll be showing you how you can sign up, how you can get traffic and how you get paid. So let's get into it. Let's hop on my computer right now and I'm going to show you everything step by step. Now first, if you don't understand what affiliate marketing is, it might help to understand this bit before we move forward because affiliate marketing is kind of a complex new concept. There is an affiliate network, okay? And Amazon is an affiliate 
network because you can sell any product on Amazon and make money and Amazon would pay. You. So now with an affiliate network, there are also affiliates and then there are customers. And the way it works is that as an affiliate, you will get a link from Amazon and you will deliver that link to the customer. So Amazon gives you a link and you put that link on the internet on sites like Google, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and the customer clicks the link, and if they buy a product, then you get your commission, okay? And typical commission is about 5% on Amazon. You can make anywhere from five to 10% of whatever anybody buys on Amazon. And Amazon sells about a billion dollars worth of product every single day so that means roughly the opportunity for affiliates is about 50 to 100 million dollars every single day so there's a lot of money to be made now what this looks like is when you sign up you will see this big thing called amazon associates site stripe and this is how i get my affiliate links but to get this little toolbar which is supplied by amazon to show up what you need to first do is you need to go to Amazon.com and you need to scroll all the way down to the very bottom of the page. And you need to go to the section that says, make money with us. Look at all these ways you can make money with Amazon. Did you know that there were so many ways you can make money with Amazon? We're only going to be talking about one of these ways you can make money with Amazon right here. But there are a lot here become an affiliate and you click that to sign up and they accept affiliates from almost every country in the world and as you see right here earn up to 10 percent advertising fees with a trusted partner e-commerce leader and you, it's free to join okay so we're going to click right here to join and they tell you you know how much you can get paid you know you earn different amounts on different items so you earn only five percent on digital goods different products you earn different amounts on but you can earn up to ten percent so we'll click join now for free and that would be how you join now once you've joined this site stripe will show up on any time you go to Amazon okay this little bar up here and this is where you'll get your links so how do you get links for a specific product though? Here's a really good book I recently read. It's by Cormac McCarthy called Blood Meridian. Amazing Western book that takes place on the kind of Texas-Mexico border during the wars with Mexico in the 1800s. I mean, it's unbelievable. This author also wrote the movie No Country for Old Men. And he has a whole series of books that take place in usually Texas or the South and they're really dark but really good and just, I mean, they're, they're good reads. I read this book, it's a page turner, Blood Meridian, and let's say I wanted to talk to, it, to people or I wanted to send an email to my friends and say, hey, just wanted to give you a book update or something, you know, I wanted to sell it online, right? So I would type in Blood Meridian. Here's the book by Cormac McCarthy. Now, what I would do is I would talk about this, I would uh, copy the link, See, right up here is where I would just get link. And this link is going to populate literally for this book. So we can just copy this. And if we put it in, right, see, we just paste it in, it'll go to that same page. Now, what's great about this, though, is it looks like it's the same page. But if somebody buys this book after using your link, you end up getting 5% of the money. Pretty cool, right? So that's how it works, about 50 cents. So now the question is, we got our link, we understand how affiliate marketing works, we know what we're gonna promote, we're gonna talk about a book, but how do we get traffic, right? There are plenty of ways to get traffic. Can you actually name a place you can't post a link? You can. You can post links on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Google, LinkedIn. You can place links anywhere on the internet, and that's where we go to do. So what I'm gonna do though is I'm out there. There's a lot of places where people talk about books. You could start an Instagram profile about books. You could do a YouTube video where you sit there and you say, okay, today, this week, we are talking about this book by Cormac McCarthy. This is my review. This is a book review of Blood Meridian. You could do a million things, but you don't have to do it for just books. You could promote any sort of product around and there are literally millions 
and millions of products that you can promote online for any sort of thing. Now, it might have seemed pretty easy and clean on your YouTube description. Now, in the previous video, I showed you how to make an affiliate link with Amazon, an affiliate account from scratch. So that'll be in the description. If you haven't signed up for one, I'm assuming you have. So in this video, let's go ahead and make that link appear on YouTube in the best possible way. Now, if it's your first time here, I make easy to follow tech tutorials just like this one five times a week. So please consider subscribing. Now let's jump into the computer so I can show you the process. So I'm on Amazon.com here and I'm going to go to the Amazon Associates where I sign up for my affiliate program. In the description there is a link to how I signed up for that. So if you haven't signed up, go ahead and do so. So let me click here on the Amazon Associate to go into the Amazon Associate program. And here is my brand new Amazon Associate program for the affiliate links. So let's go ahead and search for a product. So product link, I'm going to go over here and click product link. And that will take me to this page where I could search for any product on Amazon. So I could either put a link here. Let's say the microphone I'm using, the blue mic. Let me search for that. This is the microphone that I'm using right now to record this video. So this is the one I'm going to use as an affiliate link. So here's how you do it. Once you search for it right here, all you want to do is you go over here and you want to press get link. So let me go ahead and press get link here. And once you click that, that will take you to this page where you could get a text and image link over here, or you could get a text only link that looks like this or image only link that looks like this. But let me go back to the product link to show you the way I like to do it. This is great for putting in on your website. But when it comes to YouTube videos, you don't want to have all this code there. None of these codes are going to work very well on YouTube. So let me go back to the product link. Let me look up blue mic one more time. And this time, instead of pressing get link, I'm going to click this little drop down here. And this drop down is going to give me the text only link. And this is the text link. Again, it's longer than I want it to be. So there is a short URL to Amazon.2. I'm going to click that. And as you see, it's a much nicer, cleaner version of that link. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Now, if you wanted to build this link out, you could click that and you could do that bigger link for your website. But now I have the link for YouTube. So let me go to YouTube. Let me just go to my channel to my recent video. And I'll go ahead and edit this video that I recently posted. And under here, if I wanted to add that link, all I have to do is add it to my description. I'm just pasting what I copied from that Amazon link and it looks just like this. So now if I save that and if I clicked on this video, that's the link to the Amazon affiliate. So if I click it right here, it will take me to this page where I could get the blue mic. And now anybody buying this mic or anybody buying anything on Amazon from that link, you're gonna get affiliate commission from this interaction. Let me go back to my video just to show you one more thing. I also have all my gear on. Okay, before I move on to the next part of uh, <clears throat> eBay affiliate marketing, the two videos, the first one, the gentleman showed you how to use a general Amazon affiliate link. Um, and that would be, let's say, example, you do a, uh, you got a cooking channel here. I'll use this as an example. And you do your video on homemade spaghetti. And during your video, you're like, hey, help support my channel. Anything you need to buy on Amazon, just click my link below my video. Be honest and upfront with people. So the first video, he shows you how to use that general Amazon link and how to set up your Amazon affiliate account. Now, the second video is when you are getting more specific on an item. And for an example, in the video he used, and I actually have the same microphone, the uh, Snowball uh, Blue uh, microphone, okay? So let's say you do a video and you do a review and you say, hey, I got this new microphone. It's great for podcasting and gaming. It's only $65, much cheaper than these $100 microphones. It does the job, blah, 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 blah. And say, if you want, you can get it right off Amazon, have it shipped to your house, uh, help support my channel, click on the link below my video. It'll take you right to Amazon. You don't have to look it up and you support my channel, buy the microphone for $65. Uh, one other quick note, I see a lot of the specific Amazon affiliate marketing uh, with, for example, video equipment, 
Um, I see a lot of these videos, and there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, some people are, are are great and they're upfront and honest. They'll talk about, let's say, the new Sony Handycam. It's 4K, the best HD, and it sells for I don't know the price off my hand, but let's I'll make it up. Let's say 850 bucks, okay? But this thing is one of the best cameras on the market. And then, and their video, they'll say, if you're interested in purchasing one, you can get it for 810 dollars off Amazon. Click the link below my video. You, it'll take you right to Amazon. You can purchase it, and then you get a percentage of that sale. And I always believe in being up front. Let them know. A lot of times that'll help somebody. You know, somebody might be thinking, oh, well, I'll check it out later, and I'll go on Amazon. But if you're up front and honest, and you say, hey, help support my YouTube channel, click on the link below my video if you're interested in purchasing this camera or the microphone or whatever it is that you are promoting as your specific product. Uh, one other note. I've had some of my product review videos here on my YouTube channel, and I uh, put some Amazon and eBay links there. These are not affiliated links. I'm less than a thousand subscribers. Now, I start batting over, let's say, 5,000 to 10,000 subscribers in the future. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm going to get into using those affiliate links. Actually, probably when I, if I hit 2,000 or more subscribers, I'd be using those affiliate links, you know, when I get a lot of action on my video. But then again, I will be upfront and honest on my video um, uh, and, and tell people, hey, if you're interested in buying this product and you want to get it through Amazon or eBay, click on my uh, link below my video. It helps support my channel. You can go directly there and buy it. At any rate, okay, let's get into the eBay affiliate marketing and then the wrap it up after that. I'm going to go over briefly about taxes uh, when you start making some cashola with your YouTube channel eBay affiliate marketing for YouTube we're gonna dive right into it here okay I'm gonna show you how to get to the eBay affiliate marketing uh, web page to sign up now you do have to have an eBay account so let's say we have our eBay account we're logged in first thing you want to do is scroll down to the bottom of the eBay homepage, which I'm doing right now and I want to go to Seller Central under Help and Contact. See where I have Help and Contact? Seller Central. So we click Seller Central. Okay, now we're under Seller Central, as you can see right here. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, the Seller Central. And under Payment and Fees, we want to click on right here, eBay Affiliate Program. Click that once, and presto, here we are. eBay affiliate program page. All kinds of information here. You can read over, find, share, earn. And right here is what you do. Click this to sign up. It's free and easy. I'm going to show a couple videos right now about uh, eBay affiliate marketing. Thanks are important because they are an extra stream of income. You guys know I'm always saying don't put all your eggs in one basket, make as many streams of income as you can coming in. And the best kinds of streams of income are the passive kind. Now while these aren't passive up front, you do have to sign up, you do have to create the affiliate links and then you have to promote them. They become passive over time. So let's say you were putting up one affiliate link a day Next week, somebody might use one or two or three from last week. You've already put the work in on those. And moving forward, anytime someone uses those and you make your commission off of them, it's passive income. So it takes a little bit of work to set them up in the beginning, but then they're there forever. You never know when someone's going to run across one and use it down the line, and you're still making money off of something that took you a couple minutes to set up. So affiliate links are really great. Um, they can make you just a little bit of pocket change if you don't want to put a lot of effort in and you just want to share one here and there. Maybe you want to put an affiliate link to your store on maybe your Facebook page or your Instagram and just make a little bit of extra money. Or you can put in a lot of effort and a lot of work and really promote them out there on social media and like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, Pinterest, Tumblr, 
and maybe you have a website or a blog where you could put them up and you could make a lot of money. There are people on Instagram who make full time incomes on just affiliate links. They promote items, some people model them. This is where you go to sign up for the eBay Partner Network to be, to be able to make the affiliate links. And this has all the information in it for you that you need and you can come back and read this at your own leisure. I quickly wanted to go over how you get paid. You have to meet the minimum threshold of $10. Once you reach that, you will be paid once a month. So eBay pays once a month as long as you have $10. It rolls over so you don't lose it. It'll just sit there until you accumulate the $10 and when, when that happens, you'll get paid out that once a month day when they pay people. And when you sign up, you'll go through um, your payment options and stuff like that and be able to get direct deposit to your bank account or however you want to get paid. It's been so long since we signed up for it, I honestly don't remember all of the options that you have. Uh, Keith just has it set up to go into our business bank account. It's a direct deposit once a month. Once you're signed up and you've read all this, when you go to create your links, you're going to be looking at a page like this. And I'm not going to link this down below. I'm going to link this main page down below. Once you sign up, you'll be able to come over to this page. This page has some more information for you with drop down boxes that you'll be able to read. I just wanted to kind of quickly go over the few ways they have for you to create affiliate links. This is called SmartShare. It's an extension that you put on your Chrome, on your Google. And then while you're surfing eBay, anything that you want to share, you click that button, it shares it to Facebook or Pinterest for you, and you can create campaigns in this, it will keep track of what links are making what money, and the clicks on them and stuff like that. So this is going to be for people who are really into the affiliate links, who are doing them all the time, doing a lot of them and really pushing them as part of their income and want to set up those campaigns and stuff to keep track of what's going on. This right here is a quick and simple way to just create a quick one. Most people are going to use this method. You're just going to maybe make an affiliate link for the front of your store, like I mentioned before, and you can put that link on your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, your Tumblr, your Pinterest, your website, your blog, anywhere you want to put it, you just put that link. and so. It's just one that you're creating to share, and that's going to be what most people do unless you're really getting into the affiliate game and doing a lot. Most people are just going to create one or two and put them everywhere you can put them and just hope people click on them and buy something. Um, and then this is the other option. You can drag this little guy up to your bookmark bar, and clicking him will create a promotable link for you. This is a little bit easier because it's just up here and then you're surfing and you click it and you create your link. This way you actually have to go to whatever you want to share, get the web address for it, put it in this box here to create it, but it's really not that hard. And then they have this information down here on how to automatically optimize with mobile enhanced smart links. I'll leave that for you guys to cruise at your own leisure as well. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys the way to set one up real quick with this method here that I just talked about. That's usually what I use. Um, you can go to the front of your store, like I said, or a specific item. I'm just going to use my Barney here for the example. You paste it in this box. You have to hit the space bar for this to be enabled. There it goes. Then you hit create. Your link is right here. It is it's so easy to copy. All you do is click this green button and it's done. I'll show you. There it is. And so when people go there, that is my affiliate link. And if they didn't like my Barney, say they're looking down here and they see something else they want and they click on this Chihuahua and they end up buying him, I still get the commission for that affiliate link. So eBay is pretty simple and straightforward, guys. Like I said, this page will become available to you once you sign up for the partner network. I just wanted to go over it with you so you're already a little bit familiar with it and you know what you're doing. Once you sign up and get to... That was a great video with some information. Uh, uh, it's very useful on eBay affiliate marketing. However, we're talking YouTube and eBay affiliate marketing, so I got another great short video here. It's going to show you how to take those 
eBay affiliate marketing links and put them with the YouTube videos. The off of eBay affiliate marketing. So this is the easiest way that I find. So I made a video here about a Monopoly game piece that I found in a thrift store. You know, thousands of people are going to come across this video thinking about Monopoly, Monopoly, Monopoly. Um, so basically what you do here is you're going to go to ebay.com and I'll search up Monopoly. Copy that link. Go over to the eBay Partner Network platform website and you're going to generate your link here. is uh, plugged in to this link so whoever clicks it is going to go through your name and you're going to get credited for the purpose of anything. I'm going to save. So I'm going to get a commission if anyone decides to buy any of these monopoly pieces. It's easy money, passive income. All you're doing is putting links in the description. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, and I'll explain things for you. And you hit that like. Okay, just a couple more things here to go over with you on eBay affiliate marketing and uh, YouTube. Uh, on the eBay part Partner Network page, which is the eBay Affiliate Marketing, you come over here, the Global Rate Card, you click on Rate Card. Uh, basically, you, you can make uh, from 1% to 6% on the sale of uh, an item on eBay. Uh, I'll just go over this briefly here. Collectibles, arts and antiques, 3%. Uh, coins, paper money, 1%. Uh, sports and leisure, 4%. Ways and hobbies, uh, four percent, and business industrial two and a half percent. When I'm looking at the U United States uh, percentage chart, uh, electronics, cameras, photos three percent, uh, TV, video, audio three percent, video games and consoles three percent under electronics, uh, fashion. Uh, clothing, shoes, accessories, six percent. Health and beauty, six percent. Jewelry, watches, five percent. This is a nice little sector to be put in your YouTube videos. Home and garden, one percent. Uh, up to five percent. Uh, lifestyle, gift cards, one percent. Musical instruments, three percent. Uh, sports, five percent on the item. Media, DVDs, movies, four percent. Parts and accessories, anything on eBay Motors, 2.5%, and so forth. So that's under Rate Card eBay Partner Network. That's the percentages you'll make on the items that you list from the eBay Affiliate Network. Uh, one last thing I want to show you here to go over is, now, if you want to be paid through PayPal, there is a 2% transaction fee that's capped at $20 per month if you want payment through PayPal on money you make through the eBay affiliate marketing. However, you will not be billed anything The says this does not apply to partners who want to be paid via direct deposit or electronic funds transfer. So that's something to consider uh, if you get into the eBay affiliate. Okay, last uh, bit of information here. Tax information on your YouTube earnings, all right? Um, when you uh, get money from Google, let's say through monetization, 
taxes will not be taken out. And if you're over six hundred dollars, all right, from the source I got, you're going to have to uh, declare that as income. Now I will stress, uh, please just don't take my word for it. Uh, speak to somebody who does taxes for a living. If you start once you start making money off your YouTube video and on the income, and this is some information right here. You can take a look at it. Pause it. Okay, <clears throat> a couple other quick things here. Uh, anything you buy for your channel, uh, make sure you keep those receipts because you can use it as a deduction. So, like, let's say you made $3,500 uh, th the year when you do your taxes, okay? Let's say you do your taxes in 2021, it's 2020 now, and you made $3,500 uh, from Google on your YouTube channel but you purchased a microphone, some software to use for it. Those are all deductions, so you definitely get with uh, whoever does your taxes, and or if you do them yourself, speak to a tax expert. But you can deduct that when you're uh, making money without the tax taken out. Basically, you're self-employed. All right. And this is something else to keep in mind. Speak with a tax professional. There is a difference and now this is in America, so I can't speak on behalf of Canada or some of the other countries that might be watching this. If you're doing it as a hobby or as a business, there are internal revenue service guidelines, okay? So definitely speak with a tax uh, professional on that when you start, you know, reeling in some money off your YouTube channel. Um, so those are some things to think about. I'll leave this up here for a quick minute. Um, regarding taxes and when you start making money, okay? I wish you guys, uh, wrapping this up, I wish you guys the best of luck with your YouTube channels and definitely making money off it. Uh, lastly, I'd like to say a big, big thank you to all my subscribers of my channel here at InfoSpot411 as well as I appreciate all you guys watching my videos and dropping those likes and comments. Uh, I really do. I try to get back with each and every one of you. And with that being said, I just like to wish everybody a great day and hope you enjoy the video.